11. Strangest Bodies of Water Number 11. Underground River, Philippines Also known as Puerto Princesa Subterranean River, this strange body of water is located in a protected area within the borders of a national park, and it's pretty creepy. This recently discovered river was found in 2010, and many are calling it a natural wonder of the world. The lack of oxygen makes it very difficult to explore, but those who have been through this cave will tell you that there's waterfalls deep within. Don't be afraid to come across the bats though. No one seems to know just how big this dark cave truly is, and how many times the river tends to break up. But if you get creeped out by spooky underground rivers like this one, it's probably best you don't find out. Number 10. Uvac River, Bosnia Not only does this river separate both Serbia and Bosnia, it displays extremely windy paths in the valley. Very few villages are built along its banks, and you can tell it would be probably difficult to navigate by boat. After flowing along the border with Serbia for a while, it comes back into Bosnia, where it's surrounded by forests. The force of the river can generate quite a bit of power with hydroelectric dams. This strange body of water has carved up the landscape and eventually drains into the Black Sea. Number 9. Jacob's Well, Texas This natural spring in Cypress Creek, Texas is 12 feet in diameter but drops down 30 feet in depth. Such a deep natural well isn't too commonly found and it's been a popular place to swim for cave divers. However, it's claimed the lives of more than 8 divers and now you pretty much need to be a daredevil to get in these waters. It might look inviting from the surface, but down below you gotta watch out. It's naturally fed by an aquifer below. When people enter the third layer of the cave, it begins to get a little bit more difficult to see which way is up. Number 8. Blue Hole, Belize this large marine cavern seems to come out of nowhere off the shore of Belize, near Amberges Cay. It was created from a sinkhole during the Ice Age, and then was filled up as the ocean levels began to rise. While blue holes can be found in various locations around the world, this one is considered to be the Great Blue Hole. It actually measures roughly 984 feet across, but how deep do you think it truly is? It manages to sink a shocking 407 feet deep, so reaching the very bottom is going to take some serious work. It's become somewhat of a tourist attraction since the famous scuba diver Jacques Cousteau declared it as one of his favorite scuba diving locations. However, not everyone's got scuba skills like Jacques. This one is also quite dangerous due to large amounts of sharks like bull and hammerheads. The nearly perfect circular shape would lead you to believe it's some kind of portal to another world. Number 7. Lake Mead in the middle of the Nevada desert, probably the last thing you'd expect to see is an enormous lake, but rest assured, it's there. This body of water was created after an installation of the well-known Hoover Dam, which blocks the Colorado River. Pioneers settled the land around here in the 1860s, but were forced to evacuate because they were about to get flooded. The town called St. Thomas actually resurfaced recently since water levels were decreasing, and there's much speculation on what this lake near Las Vegas could be hiding. Some claim it was a testing ground for different military submarines, but just by looking at it, it all sort of seems out of place. Pitch Lake, Trinidad Normally when you think of a lake, you might think of water surrounded by trees and not the gooey black tar-like substance found at Pitch Lake. It's the world's largest natural deposit of asphalt and is rumored to be about 75 meters deep in some places. It holds about 10 million tons of asphalt. If it was actually put to use, it could create a road 20 feet thick and 6,393 miles long. This would essentially connect Peru to Alaska. It's not exactly sure why this lake has so much of this strange substance, but it seems to lie on an intersection of faults. This would essentially allow material from far below the surface of the earth to rise to the top. If it doesn't already seem crazy enough to you, scientists also discovered tiny microorganisms living below the surface of the asphalt, making them wonder if there's extremophiles that could live on another planet like this. Number 5. Lake Vostok, Antarctica Located on the inhospitable continent of Antarctica lies a freshwater lake but he won't be coming here anytime soon. It's located 13,000 feet below an extremely thick layer of ice. The water beneath the ice sheet hasn't seen the surface of Earth in millions of years. Scientists took an extremely difficult challenge of drilling through the ice and came across something shocking. They found over 3,500 different species of organisms. What's interesting about this is that the moon called Europa has a thick layer of ice over a liquid water ocean. If things could survive conditions like this in Antarctica, they most likely could on this moon as well, increasing the chance of alien life by a long shot. They even found things like fish and mollusks, which are much more complicated organisms than they expected. Here you see one of the species of shrimp that was found below over 2 miles of ice at Lake Vostok. Number 4. Beppu Hells, Japan 
These bodies of water in Japan is designated as a scenic place of beauty, but many would argue that it looks much more like the pits of hell. Not only can this hot spring in Japan turn completely red, it also reaches boiling temperatures and swimmers aren't recommended to jump in. Many wouldn't exactly call these hot springs, which are really more like steaming puddles. The heat gets pretty intense from the geothermic activity, and the Beppu Hells are the second largest source of this energy, right under Yellowstone. It's not exactly clear why this is given such a fearful nickname, but some believe that the early Japanese thought that the steam was from spirits. Some of the hot springs contain traces of magnesium, iron, and other elements which will give it its distinct glows. Number 3. Dead Sea, Israel and Jordan The Dead Sea makes up part of the border between Israel and Jordan and has quite a few unique properties to it. Not only does it reach the world's lowest point in elevation at 1,388 feet below sea level, it also has extremely high levels of salt. There's only a couple lakes out there that are a little bit more salty, but to give you an idea, the Pacific Ocean only has 3.5% and this lake has 33.7%. Due to the high concentrations of salt, this guy here in the photo doesn't need an inflatable raft and can float with no problems while reading a newspaper. The Dead Sea also gets its nickname due to the fact that nothing can survive here like fish or aquatic plants and is only home to a few low levels of bacteria or fungi. Number 2. Lake Redba, Senegal Also known as Senegal's Pink Lake or Lac Rose, this is the second saltiest lake in the world and the only one saltier than this one is located in Antarctica. Its red waters are caused by a microalgae which thrives in environments high in salt. Locals in the area make a living extracting salt from the bed of the lake and bring it ashore with rafts. People are found at this lake for about 6 to 7 hours and being in such salty conditions tends to dry the skin quite rapidly. Number 1. Rio Tinto, Spain this river in Spain has been so polluted over the years from copper mining that it has completely changed colors and it almost looks like a river of liquid copper. The mine saw use as far back as 3000 BC but were rediscovered by the Spanish in the 1500s. Acidic mine leakage led to severe pollution and the river has a high density of metallic concentrations. The mine closed in 2010 but the damage has been done. You probably imagine that no living organism could survive here, right? Scientists found a type of extremophile that lives in this water. This further begs the question if organisms can survive on planets with liquid metals as their oceans. 